All right, there we go. So today we're gonna take a look at my editing laptop. This is a MacBook Pro mid-2012. This is what I've used to edit all of my videos. I've done client work with this. Um, hours of editing and I actually bought this back in 2014 when I first started with uh, creating YouTube videos. I'm gonna talk about my experience with it and also I'm gonna you know, tell you whether I would recommend it or not if you're looking at buying a cheap used computer. So stick around. Hey, what's up guys? This is Marcos. Kind of weird talking with this. Uh, this channel is all about helping you create better video so you can build your brand. So if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing right now so you don't miss a thing. All right, so let's get into it. Let's talk about this laptop. This is what I've used for all my videos. I still use it, but I've done some upgrades since then. When I first started on YouTube, um, you know, I bought this laptop because I wanted to uh, edit videos. So I thought, well, I'm going to use Final Cut Pro X and for that, I need a Mac, so I bought this thing. I noticed that, you know, right off the stock, it was pretty slow to edit my footage. I was shooting with a Canon 70D at 1080p, and it, it was super slow to edit. It would stall, so I did some upgrades. I added a, a 120 gigabyte SSD drive, and then I updated the RAM to 16 gigabytes. Um, so with that, you know, my computer just, you know, it was it was like day and night. It was super fast. Since then, I've upgraded also my camera, if you can say that. Now I shoot in 4K with my Sony a6300. And as you know, 4K is way bigger. It's probably twice as big. But this laptop is able to do just fine. I don't create optimized media anymore because I have to sit there and wait for the transcoding analysis to happen. And, you know, it just takes time. And I've noticed that without having to do that, my laptop can handle it. All right, so if you're looking to buy a used laptop, I know th these, this model is pretty popular because it's much easier to update the hard drive and the RAM and do a bunch of other stuff on it. The newer models are hard, is harder to do that. It comes with some other ports. Sorry, I'm not a techie. Um, this comes with much more ports on this thing. You can do much more with it as far as upgrades, so, you know, I think for 2008, I'm probably not gonna upgrade just yet. If I can, you know, use this till it crashes on me, then that's what I'm gonna do. But the real reason I wanted to talk about this laptop is because sometimes as creators, we get caught up in trying to buy the latest and greatest gear, and I don't think it's necessary. I was thinking about this, and I've realized that what truly matters is the final result, is what you're seeing right now. As you can see, I'm using uh, a laptop that's six years old, but it still can do a great job. Same thing with your camera. It can do a great job. You just got to know how to use it. You, you just got to create more. At the end, what truly matters is the final product, what you're creating. And it has nothing to do with your gear. Now, if your computer is like super slow and it takes forever, then First of all, think about upgrading the hard drive to an SSD drive, a solid state drive, and try upgrading the RAM or the graphics card. I haven't done the graphics card at all. Uh, but before you think you need the greatest and latest, just figure out ways that you can cheaply make upgrades. Don't make excuses for, for whoa, I can't create right now because I'm waiting on this new light to come in or something like that. That doesn't matter. The final product is what matters. Are you creating? Are you being consistent? Um, so that's just my little pep talk. I'm actually talking to myself because I tend to fall, you know, on this trap of trying to afford the, a new camera, a new lens, a new something. Please, guys, let me know if you found this useful. If you like this kind of content, I try to do this more off the cuff because um, as a as a creator, sometimes I stop myself from creating because I want to perfect everything. And I want to head in this new direction where I can just talk to you and not think so much about uh, getting the perfect wording out. So if you like this kind of content, please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section. Also, if you haven't already subscribed, do it right now because I'm putting out content like this. And whenever I see that you're engaging and then you're subscribing, it just gives me more energy to create more stuff. All right. So check out these videos. That would be awesome. All right. See you on the next one.